I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on integration. You need to integrate e to the power of 2x divided by e to the power of 2x plus 3 e to the power of x plus 2 dx. You can pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions. Now I hope this reminds you of solving exponential equations. This looks like a quadratic equation right there, right? So you could factor and then do it. So if you could factor this, that means you could use partial fractions as the approach. So partial fractions will be our approach to solve this question, right? Let's see how. So first we'll do a substitution, replacing e to the power of x by u, right? So e to the power of x is u. So that if I take ln both sides, so I can write this as x equals to ln u or I can write dx is equals to 1 over u du. So I can replace, well, e to the power of 2x can be replaced with u square, right? Okay. So with these uh, uh, substitutions, I could rewrite the given integration question as uh, u square divided by, so this is u square plus 3u plus 2 and dx will replace by 1 over u du correct so which is equal to 1 u gets cancelled so you get u over u square plus 3u plus 2 you could factor this you could write this as u plus 2 times u plus 1 correct and then du okay now what we can do here is since we have a rational function we could do partial fracturing so let's do that part so partial fracturing how should we do partial fractions so we can write all this which is let me rewrite so we have 2 u over u plus 2 times u plus 1 we could write this as a over u plus 2 plus b over u plus 1 right now if I multiply both sides by u plus 2 times u plus 1 I get u equals to a times u plus 1 plus b times u plus 2 perfect now to solve for a and b uh, easy approaches we could substitute u equals to minus 1 this will be 0 find b we could substitute u equals to minus 2 that will be 0 find a right so that is the approach which we are going to take here and then find both a and b right so so if i substitute u as minus 1 i get minus 1 equals 2 uh, minus 1 makes this 0 but that will be minus 1 plus 2 as 1 so we get b so b is equals to minus 1 if i substitute minus 2 so minus 2 is equals 2 that will be minus a right and uh, this term will be 0 and that gives you a as equals to 2. So we get both values of a and b. Once we get that, we could write this integral as uh, as this, right? Partial fractions, right? So a is 2, so we get 2 over uh, u plus 2 and b is minus 1, so minus 1 over u plus 1, u plus 1 du. That is how we could simplify and now it's kind of simpler, right? So we could write this as 2 integral 1 over u plus 2 du minus integral uh, 1 over u plus 1 du, right? So this one gives you 2 ln u plus 2, right? And this gives you ln u plus 1 plus a constant. So I could write this as equals to ln absolute value of u plus 2 square minus ln absolute value of u plus 1 plus c and you can combine these two so we get ln you get u plus 2 right uh, whole square absolute value okay okay let me do that well this is always positive now over u plus 1 is it okay plus c so that becomes your solution to the given question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. You can go through them once again.
It's a very important question. If you like, you can put some likes. Always share, subscribe to my videos and if you have any questions, feel free to post your questions. Thank you.